Rebel Gaming Club Wars Pickup Episode 131. 131? Fuck yeah. Well, we're back from too many games. As you can see from the last video, if you watched it, if you didn't, you need to go back and watch us go to too many games. You'll notice someone was not at too many games. I was bummed. The Great Sage. What, what happened? Why couldn't you go? Well, my car started acting weird, so I was like, you know, I should get this checked out. And when I uh, brought it, they were like, yep, that's your transmission. So that was all my vacation money gone. So had you gone to too many games, it would have been really irresponsible of you. Yeah, I because everyone was like, oh, just go for fun. And I'm like, when you have every game that I could want there, you're telling me to not spend money? That's just like me. That's that. Yeah, you can't do it. I can't do it. I have too little self-control. I would have left and... It's like you in a whorehouse and not being able to fuck. Exactly. I'd be like, you're asking me not to raw dog these chicks and blow it in them? Sir, excuse me. <laughs> well, it was a bummer you couldn't go. People were asking about you. Yeah, well, sorry, guys. That's my bad. You know, they they were like, where's Nick? I'm like, listen, couldn't make a trip. Car problems. Yeah. But next time. Next time, hopefully my car won't die two days before we gotta go. That's the hope. That uh, is the hope. That's the dream, man. Well... We had a great weekend. We got to hang out with a ton of our friends from YouTube, and uh, we made some new friends. We got to play some music. We got to we get to buy a lot of video games. Did a little bit of thrifting and hit there up a go. bunch of Game Stops. <laughs> so first up, because Game Stops, you, you drive seven hours to get to a place. You gotta see five or six. Exactly, and that's what happened. We actually probably hit about twelve of them oh, total. Shit. But I didn't have much luck at most of them. Yeah. But a little bit of luck. First up, we uh, they're doing the four for ten deal. So I found a bunch of games uh, for that two fifty mark. We got this Picto Image, and this is a uh, a Sega. Well, they didn't make it, but they published. published it. Yeah, looks really fun actually. Check this out, Nick. So it looks like Pictionary, but you can link up uh, eight eight different DSs off of one cart. Oh, and you're drawing, and uh, seven other players would have to guess what you're drawing. That's pretty cool. That, I like when they do that, where it's like one person could have the game, eight people can play. Yep, so I've never that. seen it, and you get the Sega in the corner, and it was really cheap, so... That's a that. win all around. Got uh, Resident Evil 6, which I don't know how I didn't have that already. Right, that's... I should have had that. Do you know it's a giraffe getting a blowjob for the 6? I did not... Look at there it. it is! Giraffe. Chick's bent over. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I saw that one day and I was like, what the fuck? Uh, had a little bit of luck for the Wii collection. Oh, we so found we're this getting there. Ram Racing. Oh, God. Looks like hot trash, but... Say, what a fucking shovelware title that is. $2.50, and that brings me down to, like, what, 34 away. Uh, we got this PlayStation All-Star Battle Royal. I had fun when it came out. I mean, it's not Smash Brothers, but it was fun as hell. And it has Parappa the Rapper. Yeah. I mean, that's the, the selling point for me right there. Uh, we found Hour of Victory. This is a uh, Xbox exclusive. I don't see it very often. No. And uh, and for that price, two fifty, dollars I snagged it. Yeah, why not? Uh, another Xbox title I've, I've never seen out in the wild was... Crash Time Autobahn Pursuit. Uh, oh. Looks kind of like a Burnout clone, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Um, that I, I paid $10 for, so hopefully it doesn't totally stink. Uh, Hulk Hogan's main event. It's a Kinect title. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm sure it's awful, but yeah, it's Kinect, th there's some novelty there. And it was, once again, cheap. I mean, it is Hulk Mania, so. Man, I guess I got a lot of 360 titles. Uh, Velvet Assassin. I've never heard of this. Oh, really? I th I've seen it once. I saw it actually at the convention, but I picked this up at a GameStop on the way home. Uh, I owned it a while ago. I was like, oh, it's totally going to be like... I th I thought it was going to be Gear? Hitman or Metal oh, Hit Gear. But then I was like, oh, it's just really dumb stealth missions. And it comes with a bonus disc, so it makes you think like, wow, there, there needs to be a bonus disc for some weird reason because they put so much work into it. Doesn't show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I found I found this Corpse Party. So I, I, I found it a while ago. Yeah. But it was just the game in the case. So I go to this GameStop and I see this on the shelf. 
the collector's edition, and it's all there with the dolls, the soundtrack. I have same, that. same price. I love it. So I bought this and returned my my <laughs> my, uh, my other copy. So now I have the collector's edition of this. Well, there you go. And it didn't cost me anything. It was just an upgrade. That's perfect. I, I actually really like that game. I have it on the 3DS. Now, is this a, a visual novel? No. You actually, it's kind of like a Zelda puzzle solver, but like you don't fight. It's just like you solve puzzles, trigger events, and you know those RPG maker horror games people make all the time. No. Okay, it's like that. If you look into it, that's what it's like, where you just walk around. Something jumps out, you're like, oh, and all that. I mean, I liked it. The story's So cool. not not terrible, then? No, it's not bad, but it's not like you're not going to lose your mind over it. Uh, hit up a record store on the way down in, in this uh, abandoned mall. It was like two. There was a GameStop, and then there was a, a record store. Uh, <laughs> I found this Rod Stewart in the Faces Live, and this is from 1973. Uh, Sage, you're not going to know shit about that. No. So I won't even ask you. No, don't. <laughs> and I also found a copy of Slade. Awesome, awesome 70s rock band from the UK. Come on, feel the noise. You ever heard that yeah. song? Guess who originally wrote it? Oh, Slade, okay. not Quiet Riot. So that's a fun fact. Learn something new every day. That's a great cover, right? That screams the 70s. Dude, look at that guy's hair. I just love it. I love it. He's just like... He's like got a flex with my half bowl long hair haircut. Fucking awesome. <laughs> I love it. Uh, uh, so, yeah, and, and that was the, pretty much the trip down. That's awesome. While we were there, we went to a, a Goodwill um, Friday morning before the convention started. Yep. Uh, and managed to find a Wii game. It was Wii Sports. Perfect condition in the wrong case for $1.97. So I'll wait until GameStop does their, like, bump on Wii Sports and you trade it in for like $10. Yeah. Mm. Hey, if you're lucky, maybe we'll head to one of those, trade in to get 40% more. Yeah, you never know. And then I also found Sonic Boom for $1.97 on the Wii U. It might be too much. No, well, it's, it's, <laughs> it was, it's still worth more than that. So yeah. that, that was pretty yes. neat. I never find anything at Goodwill, so that's like the first time it's ever happened. Uh, now let's get to the convention finds. Yes. First up, uh, I went to a, uh, the first table I went to had some Xbox games and uh, they didn't have any price. I picked up two and they were like, uh, just give me five bucks total. And we picked up Hail to the Chimp. I remember that. That's a four player game, kind of like a Power Stone-esque. Yeah. But probably nowhere near as good. No, but Power still, Stone is amazing. Still pretty cool. And also Enclave, which looks kind of like a... Dungeon Crawl? Kind of a dungeon crawl. I, I don't know how to describe this one. I just love that cover. Yeah, it's a sick cover. I've never played it. Never even heard of it, to be honest. I've passed on it before, so for, for 250, yeah, it's the right not? time. Um, I found this Nano Breaker at one of these tables uh, from this, this uh, vendor. What was it Gotham City Games, I think, out of uh, Brooklyn, New York? Yeah. And his name was Josh, and uh, I'm pretty sure it was Josh. I didn't fuck that up. Super cool. He, <laughs> he likes the RGC. He's tuned in a, a time or two. There he you says go. we keep it real. You we believe try. that, people? We keep it fucking real. Uh, another table. Extermination. And Star Trek Shattered Universe. I made a trade. Um, I think I traded Grandia 2 for these two. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. It's fine. I, I really. Maybe extermination's cool. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. Walking around the floor, you run into a lot of different YouTubers. Oh yeah. And people that I've never met, I've just watched for a long time. That that one one of those people was Canadian Retro. He's been doing it for a long time, and uh, he's been a fan of the channel. I've been a fan of his channel. And uh, he had a game for me, which was super cool of him. I thought I was going to buy it off him or whatever, but he was like, no, for Rebel Gaming Club. And he gave me Godzilla Save the Earth. Can we talk about how that is one of the greatest Godzilla games of all time. Let's, you, you got about 30 seconds, let's discuss it. Uh, well, first off, Godzilla Saves the Earth and Godzilla Unleashed, the one on the Wii, Yes. are by far the best, because they, in my opinion, well, I know the Wii one has the biggest roster, this one also has a pretty big roster, and what brings us above almost all the others, one to four players. 
where most are one to two. Oh. So you could get four people thrown down with literally almost every monster from the entire series, from 1948 all the way to 2005, I think. That so sounds... pretty sick. It's so good. That sounds rad. I mean, then again, I'm a huge Godzilla guy, so it's fucking awesome anyway. I've, I've wanted this one for a while, but this is kind of pricey on the, the Xbox. The PlayStation 2, not as much, but this one will run you right around... Uh, 30 to 40 dollars complete this is missing manual but i'm totally fine with that because i really want to play yeah. it oh that's uh, good canadian retro super cool hanging out with you talking and uh and thank you so much it was super that kind was of you great game uh oh got the little pamphlet from this year look at that it's got the animal I, told, I saw that and i thought that was just an animal crossing thing so i was like oh i got like a book oh. for it So mad I can't go this year. That's all right. We'll get there next time. So limited run games was there. Oh, they had a booth set up, <laughs> and and I think this caught a lot of people because you know they had a price that what they would have it on their website, but a lot of these are sold out now. Oh yeah, and they're like two hundred dollars on eBay or whatever. You know, some ridiculous crap. So so you're not having to pay shipping. So a lot of these games you'd uh, you'd have to pay thirty online, and it would be an additional six dollars on top of it to ship. So for thirty bucks on all these, I snagged them up. West of Loathing. That's hilarious. Looks that like a awesome. a fun RPG set in the West. Stick figure and the writing supposed to be really clever. Oh yeah, it's hilarious. I love it. So you've played it. Did watched you download? A let's play on it. Oh, let's play on it. Because I was like, I don't know about this, and then next thing I know, I watched like three hours of it. And I'm like, this is really good. I like it. Picked up the Escapists. This I got is the that. complete edition. But not the complete, but I do have it on the PS4. Fantastic. Looks like a lot of fun. Oh, it totally is. Um, we got Pixel Junk Monsters 2. And it's a tower defense game. Oh, okay. And I love me some tower defense. <laughs> I was like, I've never heard of it. Got the first one on the PSP, and I actually have played that. I haven't played that one, though, so. We picked up uh, a shooter, and this is Dan Maku Unlimited. I think. Great. Hopefully I said that right. I don't know. It's a shooter. It was 30 bucks. Switch. All day long. Oh, yeah. And the last limited run games that I bought from limited run games was Layers of Fear Masterpiece Edition. That was good. I mean, that was, it like, never scared me, but I was like, oh, this is some good writing, and I like the story. Did you order it from them, or did you just watch it? I uh, Steam. Steam? Yeah. It. Uh, they had the Switch version, Collector's Edition, oh, sold out. Oh, yeah, I was going like to say, I could that. picture that being gone before the store even opened. So I saw a lot of other people posting saying they bought i think Corey zamer uh went and he bought a bunch of limited run games uh fellow club member zach pack was there he spent a ton of money with limited run so it was very odd to see just how much people were spending at their table oh yeah um went around to some some other booths uh i finally found a copy of shampoo um samurai shampoo and this is based on an anime, and this is supposed to be a, a notoriously bad game. Oh, the game is awful. Anime is great. That's what I've heard. But uh, he had $18 on it, and I went to go pay that $18. I didn't even bother haggling. And he goes, I'll give it to you for 15 for that punk rock look of yours. <laughs> You're like, hell yeah. Well, I guess. I'm a punk rocker, dude. And he said he took $3 off. Well worth $15 for the collection. Oh, yeah. And I went to uh, another table. And it happened to be my buddy, Darren, who directed a movie called The Bits of Yesterday, which is a documentary about uh, collectors in the YouTube community and uh, all that good stuff. You can find it on Amazon, and I am on the soundtrack with a couple original go. numbers. So uh, I went through his table and found a copy of Jerry Rice and Nidus Dog Football. And he had it for five bucks. He was going to give it to me. I was like, no, I'll give you the five bucks. And uh, it's awesome. This, this is a pretty tough title to find, believe it or not. Uh, complete, this usually runs around $20. So that was a really awesome price. And I was happy to add that to the collection. The things you don't even know the Wii has until you, like, find them. It's, it's amazing. amazing. I really feel like I'm becoming a, a super expert on collecting for the Wii. Which feels I mean, good. You gotta be at this point. I feel like I'm on I'm the, I'm the, like, the forefront. I didn't even know the PSL was a thing, the Pet Sports League. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's a thing, everyone. 
But it was cool to catch up with Darren as well and see what oh, yeah. he was up to. He's, a, he's always a, a good conversation. Uh, Bad Graphics Gamers were there. I don't know if you know them. I don't. But their channel's awesome. And they just actually released a video from two years ago that had Ryan in it doing a stupid, stupid stunt for basically nothing. <laughs> and uh, uh. I'll, I'll link that down below because Bad Graphics are the real deal. And we probably spent more time with those dudes than anyone else the whole weekend. Because there there's three go. of them. You know, there's three yep. of those dudes. There's three of ours. So it's like, it's weird. Yeah. We just like fuck each other, I guess. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but they hooked it up. I did some trading with those guys. I had some stuff I wanted to get rid of, and it was going to be good for Buzzy's store. And uh, in return, I got this Dragon Spirit on the NES. This is a shooter. Recommended by my buddy Wyatt. You ain't got no? I've never even heard of it. You're that. a dragon, and uh, I've seen gameplay. I've never played it. And uh, just a, a very basic shooter, but cool. it's supposed to be fun found a copy of Super Truck Racer and this is a Maximum Family Games title and really hard to find so we can cross another one off my Wii list so this brings it down to like 33 titles away this is a $60 title oh. yep, super hard to find the golden rule you see that Maximum Family Games on the front snag it up on the Wii that is don't do it for everything else I'm not sure if it's uh, worth anything Last game I, I snagged up from those dudes was Kenka Bancho Badass Rumble. Dude, that game was surprisingly awesome. So it looks a lot like um, Yakuza. Yakuza it, series. It, like I was say, it's like a, a lighter version of the Yakuza. And obviously not as big open world and everything, but yep. it was pretty cool. Atlas title and... Uh, pretty hard to find and I've seen this one it keeps this rising in value because a couple years ago when I was looking to get it it was like a $30 game now it's at around 55 bucks wow. so but I was it was awesome I could trade for these because obviously it hurts to pay $55 for a PSP title Ugh, yeah uh, went to this booth uh, they said everything on on in the whole booth is negotiable so whatever you want pick it up and give us a price so i picked up five games and i offered 40 bucks and uh and he, he took it first up we got this witches and vampires the secrets of asbury and this is sealed i don't know much about this one but it was intriguing by the back if you look at it and i said in the preview i was going to be looking for ds games yeah, that i don't normally did. see Picked up Robo Ocalypse. This is a uh, looks like a real time strategy type. Never even heard of that. Yep, that one's kind of you don't see that every day. It looks cool. Snagged up this Chocobo Tales. This uh, has a bunch of mini games, and I think you it's a card based game overall. Looks kind of fun. I do love Choco. Sage has never played dungeon. it. No, I haven't. And we picked up Boing. Duh, don't worry about that other word. Just let's go with Boing. <laughs> uh, this is supposed to be a really fun platformer. Uh, kind of puzzle solving. And uh, the price seems to be starting to jump a little bit on this one. So to find a complete copy for, I don't know what I paid. You know, what? How many did I get? Five. Five, five for 40. So... They're, they're all marked at 10, so it's like, buy those, get one for Yep, and I also picked up Kirby Pinball Land. This was not complete. I just got the game. But I have a box from my buddy Mike. So this is a little sneak preview. He sent me a box full of just manuals and boxes. Oh, time to fill those out. So we had to fill it out, and this was the first one I found, and now we get a complete copy of Kirby's Pinball. That's awesome. So it was nice to, to 40 bucks on these. Well, those were pretty good. Yep. This is a pretty good haul so far. Oh, yeah. If that if that was it, I'd be happy. But that was not it. There's more. Went to another booth. They had all these, they had, uh, it said everything on this rack, $5. I'm like, all right, that's always intriguing. Let's see if I can catch them slipping a little bit. And sure enough, right off the bat, I see the Legend of Spyro, the Eternal Knight. I needed this for the Wii collection. Normally GameStop has it for about 
16 to 20 dollars oh, so for five go. bucks awesome price you were like hell yeah picked up terriana 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 Ter uh what is it terraria terraria yeah terraria. have you played that yeah it's 2d uh minecraft it's like oh. side scrolling 2d minecraft oh no shit it's actually really awesome all right so for five bucks did all right on that oh, one yeah. Picked up Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper, which I had on my list of games. I'm like, I never see this. And if I find it at too many games, I'm buying it. And there you go. And sure enough, that's pretty neat, right? Yeah. Snagged up Death Row. I believe I have this one on the Xbox, but I snagged it up just in case one of my friends out there did not have it. That's uh, you're in a prison playing a oh, game. Like, yeah, it looks weird. It's original Xbox, that's why. Yep. Uh, picked up this code breaker for the PS2. These are kind of cool, and they're they're a little bit pricey. Hey, accept Game Shark codes. Yeah, this is this is pretty <laughs> neat. So uh, for five bucks, once again, I think these run about 20, 25 bucks. I do believe. And the last title I found was something that I've been looking at for a long time at GameStop, but they always want forty to you know thirty five to forty five dollars for this, and uh, it's World of Outlaw Sprint Cars. It's supposed to be a really good racing game. This is dirt track racing, so a lot of people swear by this series. And uh, really expensive, so I got it for five bucks. Couldn't that's be okay. happier. Uh, so even if you only found this, that was a win. It, yeah, well, that's so what I thought that. too. Yeah. Holy crap. Went, uh, met up with my buddy, Jason Polo. And we always do these really greasy trunk deals out the back of his car. He brings me out to his car and, and, and we do it up. So I, I knew right away when he pulled out the box and I seen it, I'm like, oh, Polo, Polo, you've done it again. <laughs> Each time, I swear, he hooks it up. And uh, I picked out some games. I picked out, I, I found this Falling Stars. It's an age tech title. It's an RPG for, I believe, little girls, but pretty neat. I've always wanted that and you know to bundle it in with this price was awesome this was 50 bucks for all of this picked up this rainbow moon sealed limited run which i will play this is a turn-based strategy game and it's been sold out for a long long oh, yeah. time so that was neat and actually jordan had picked that up first and he turns it over he's like i believe this is a strategy I was like give me that <laughs> you're like thanks jordan that's mine and uh, the last game was this Octodad. That was hilarious. Yeah. This I remember when the pre-order went up and I, I missed out on it. So this is one I've had my eye on. It's funny. The only limited run game I ever had was Saturday Morning RPG on the PS4. <laughs> had. Had. Yeah, I sold it for 120 That's uh, probably a smart move. Yeah, paid like 30 something for it and then saw the price and I was like, get out of there. So 50 bucks. Polo hooked it up. Wow. And it's always good to catch up with him and, and shoot the shit because he is he's like one of the guys that early on accepted us in and, and showed us the ropes. So now we kind of know what to do when we go to these conventions. At first we were so green. We didn't know what to do, who to talk to. Yeah, you're like, oh, I just pay full price. I don't know what to do. Like, or where to hang and who to talk to. And he like he just knows everyone. So, Polo, thank you so much. And uh, congrats on the, the twins. Yeah, he's, nice. Just had some twins. So That's he's, awesome, man. Savage. This is going to bring us down to the last bit of pickups here. Oh my god, there's more. There is more. This is the grand finale right here. Went to a booth and uh, I offered, what did I offer? 40, 45 bucks and, and he took it. And unfortunately, one is just Case and Manual. Or no, it's just Case. And that is Nemesis, which is part of the Gradius series for the Game Boy. So, I was like, fuck, all right, I kind of fucked up there. But I was able to get a manual and a, a game coming in the mail to complete it. Well, there you go. For like 12 bucks. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah, that, it wasn't a bad deal. And I also picked up this Onimusha Tactics. And this oh. is complete, but unfortunately does have the stupid uh, sticker on the front. Mm -hmm. But well, still pretty neat to see. Yeah, I was going to say, you still got it. That's pretty good. In the, in the last game... You remember you remember what I told you was gonna be my biggest uh Sega game. It was a Sega game. My number one game on my wish list 
I asked Bad Graphics Gamers right away. I went to Wyatt. I was like, Wyatt, you guys have this game? He's like, no. So I walk away. Two minutes later, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. Wyatt's like, I found it. War Song on the Genesis. There you, is it complete? It's missing the manual. And it's got some writing on it. But you know what? For 60 bucks, That's gold. I, I was happy with it. I can live without the $40 manual. Yeah. Or maybe I'll find it someday. But now I can play it because this is a strategy game. And this is something that's on my radar of games to play. So That is awesome. It was awesome of Wyatt to find that. And, uh, and that really, that happened within the first two minutes of being in the convention. Oh, well then your weekend's like, it can't go bad here. Like, I know. I was like, what, what the hell? My... my I also made a deal, a trade, the mega trade, which you saw hopefully in the, the Too Many Games video, with Richard Brian Kahn. That's the RBK on RBK the Facebook. Yeah. I got two bags full of video games, music, toys, just odds and ends that he finds and hits me up and is like, fam, you want this? And I'm like, fam, I do want that. Uh, I hooked him up with a huge box of, of awesome shit. So next time, we are going to go through Richard Brian Kahn's two bags over here, and we're going to show you what we got. I'm excited. This was a hell of a pickup. Makes me sad I missed it. There was part of me that was like, find me a game and I'll pay you, but I was like, I can't. I can't. It's almost 5000 to fix my transmission. I can't spend a dime. In, in all the games that you had listed... Oh yeah, they were like 100, oh, 120, it, 200. It was, that, yeah. yeah, no, it was the, the prices on those were brutal. I yeah. mean, I was really looking for the, the stuff that... You know, it was a little bit, a little bit off the beaten path, and uh, I had good luck with that. But yeah, yeah, no, because that's all I need for my PS1 stuff are just like the five or six big flagship titles, and then I'm done. I'll be like, I got all the big stuff for PS1. I don't need any more. Well, maybe, uh, maybe if we get invited to to Retro World, whether we're invited or not, I'm going. I already booked my hotel room. I was like, I'm on it. Well, fuck, look at you. I know, right? I was like, I'm going. Fuck me. <laughs> Well, guys, I think that is going to do it. You know, it's a lot of games. Thanks for, you know, staying tuned through the whole thing. Hopefully you made it. If not, fuck you. Yeah, we don't need you anyway. Yeah, whatever. Talking shit on you, but you're not watching, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll see. Thanks to everyone at Too Many Games, all our friends, everyone that we met uh, and hung out with. You guys are the best, and uh, it makes it really, really worthwhile. And uh, we will see you next week. Yeah, and I'm sorry I wasn't there, but I will be at Retro Expo in Connecticut. Have a good one.